hey guys welcome family before you step into a new year this is basically 2022 review and how your 2022 have been so far and then steps on how you're going to improve and then by the end you also have to figure out which one did i do better encourage yourself don't beat yourself up so much encourage yourself like which one did i do better and then which one did i do the least and work more on that one this is something that is really essential in every area of your life so before we dive in there are some few things i'm going to talk about so first of all you have to be really honest with yourself be vulnerable be honest with yourself and tell yourself the truth because it's just you and your god and yourself and you want to be better come next year coming like come new year you want to be better so this is something you have to go to a quiet place and do this so for me i went it could be in your house basically but me i didn't stay in my house i went to the chapel to do this you know what level you are at in your life and how you want to step into a new year then something else like what is your theme for the new year so do you want to heal do you want to go out more often do you want to be bold like what is your theme for 2023 so basically for me my theme will be to go out more to be bold be uncomfortable i'm not trying to heal at anything now in my, in my life now so uh that will be my theme for next day so you have to figure out your theme before you go full out so the first thing we're going to talk about is your spiritual life so here you have to figure out the level of relationship with god it also has to do with your character like what is my level of relationship right now with god now the level is he in the red is he shining red already or is he green or is he in the middle you have to like figure out like your level of relationship so far from january 1st to currently today is the 20 is the 28th of december 2022 so so what's your current state of relationship up to now from january 1st to now like what is your level of relationship with god so far so for me i said that my spiritual life uh, like generally um it was fair but then it was unstable like for some months it was better for others it wasn't and i guess you realize that the months that it was stable and better was the month that i had difficulties in my life and that that made me to run back to god and be like oh my gosh i can't do it on my own i need you i need you in my life second one is your mental development capacity so did i acquire useful information did i communicate the life of christ to my environment was i of value to people around me did i give like was i of a person of value was i a person of influence like was i be able to touch people around me like what would i say that i actually did in my mental development did i build my mindset did i like did i did i learn more in 2022 so for me what i said is that i read in 2022 but i did not implement what i've read i did not implement there, were, there was less of the action and more of the reading and then i also said that i don't fully go into things because of fear of what people would say i know them in my heart i know the things i want to do but then i don't implement more so in 2023 i'm going to try and implement more and put more action into the things which i read and into the things which i learn so the, the third one is your health and your physical well-being your body belongs to god and your body is the temple of the holy spirit so you have to take good care of your body and like did you really take good care of yourself be intentional about your well-being about your health because a single negligence can cost you a lifetime a single negligence can affect your peace and can affect your wellness and your well-being and a single carelessness can ruin your life forever so um you need your body to live long you need your body to live long and work for god so you have to really take good care of your body and you have to be you have you have to be intentional about your health you have to feed well you have to take good care of yourself more like what was your level of your physical well-being like how did you take care of yourself in 2020 in 2022 so for me i said at the beginning of this year i was carefree i didn't really take good care of myself my feeling habit was low and i didn't really take good care of my body but towards the end of towards the end of the year i think i started taking care of myself because i get to realize that if, if i don't take good care of myself if i'm not healthy if i don't eat well if i if i'm sick if i'm ill 
that would affect me a long time and that would affect my mindset or affect my well-being i won't even be able to walk so i had to take good care of my body so the fourth one is your purpose and your assignment what is the reason then god brought you into existence like did i make progress this year in 2022 did i make progress um am i busy but not moving forward am i making progress with my life like what is your assignment in life and why has god called you into this world like did you make progress in 2022 so, um for me i said this year i moved an inch and i'm really grateful at least i moved um i towards the beginning i was unsure the middle i was stagnant the end i'm following god's direction and though i was though i get distracted from time to time um i have to open up a little bit more i have to speak out i have to be i have to be unashamed i have to believe that i can do anything that i want to do what is your level of stage in terms of like why god because god cannot just create you in this world to achieve nothing he created each and every one of us for greatness so find your purpose and work towards it so the fifth one is your finances pastor selman said flog it out flog it out in the spiritual place he said you don't have to work all your life for money like never plan on pursuing money all your life you have to be able to create a source of income that even when you're there or when you're not there you can still earn money even in your presence and even in your absence um, what did i do with the resources that god gave me is it my intelligence is it my time is it material resources like what was i able to do with them what was i able to accomplish so far and then my offerings did i give my offerings unto god my tithes did i give my tithes to god in 2022 like your financial level like what would you say now depending on the time you're watching this for me this is the 28th of december 2022 so what would i say is my financial stage right now at this point in my life there is the busy but broke what do i have to do i'll do more of implementation i will do more of hyping myself and encouraging myself and be proud of myself show up and then encourage myself more so basically i now listed out all my sources of income and at each um, source of income i was able to be like okay where is this one like in my youtube what's the growth in my ebook like what's the growth this business what's the growth in my e-commerce business in flourish flair like list out each of my source of income and my stage and my level that i would say Apparently, I, my finances i said i was busy but broke which is really bad like it's really bad so in 2023 i have to do more of implementation i have to be proud of myself i have to be consistent more and i have to do more like i have a whole lot of work to do in my finances in 2023 so the last but not the least is your relationship so basically in your relationship your career relationship like your business relationship your marital relationship your friendship like like did you make more reasonable friends in 2022 like were you intentional about making friends that are purpose that did you make growth in your relationship like did you make meaningful relationship like where the relationship you made in 2022 were they meaningful like were they actually what's why like you know in terms of you know like i won't really say having more friends yield more results i would say like meaningful friends like you can have less friends and they'll be more meaningful than a thousand you can have two and they'll be more meaningful so um what's your relationship level out your business relationship like relationship is really important and sometimes money really money can be in form of relationship you understand uh i told myself that i'm going to be myself so i'll attract people who are i won't really fake anything and i'll be intentional about people i want to allow into my life and into my space and there'll be more of people that are going to be of value to me and me myself of value to them as well so that our relationship will be meaningful and it will be worthwhile this is personal like after releasing all this i'll grade myself from one to ten on each of the level and then figure out which one is which one was better and then which one did i do less of in 2022 then i wrote out things that i really improved 
and then things I achieved in 2022 and then things I have to work on in 2020-2023 so I'm going to leave everything in the description so and I'm going to leave the link of the video that I watched before you step into 2023 you have to like do this because they are really going to help you to enter into a new year so thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you find that video helpful like I said we are going to do more in 2023 by, by the grace of God and by his Messes. I would wonder why would I want to redo this video because you can from me see this video and watch Pastor Selman's video which will be of value to you and which will be useful to you so please also don't forget to check out my ebook so thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel lots of love all the time bye